Hi friends, today in this video, I am going to make a powerful and portable spot welding machine, using few MOSFETs and triple 5 IC. I first prepared the simple circuit diagram for this circuit, using a triple 5 timer IC as main component, with some other few components. Also for switching, I used logic gate MOSFETs, to get high amperes of pulse current. Then I converted the schematics into the PCB. For easy assembly, I ordered PCBs from JLC PCB. Get 1 to 8 layer PCBs for just $2, efficient large scale production reduces costs, and bringing you PCBs in unbeatable prices. And then I prepared the PCB for its components. So, let's place all the components into the PCB according to the circuit diagram. After soldering, trim down these excess component spins. Take few pieces of IRLB4132 MOSFETs and trim the half of third leg and since second leg is interconnected to body of MOSFET so fully cut down the second leg and also trim half of first leg now pre-solder MOSFET pads Align the MOSFETs at its place, and solder the third and second pins of every MOSFET. I added total 6 MOSFETs to make it more powerful. Use this type of copper wire, and solder over here. This will allow circuit to deliver higher pulse currents, without blowing up this PCB track. Spread the soldering all over this track. After completing the soldering and cleaning process, our PCB looks nice and clean. Before any further ado, let me tell you that you can also order the same PCB for this project, without messing up on pref board. Just go to the video description, and with this link sign up on JLCPCB website. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronic engineers to develop projects efficiently. Just upload your Gubber file here. To get instant quote and order in minutes, it is easy as online shopping. After uploading, you can see the preview of the PCB. 
You can also change quantity and color of the PCB as per your requirements. Quality and lead time is reliable, all-in-house production, ensuring stability and strict quality control in every process, and lightning fast PCB production, in just 24 hours. And then you can save to the cart for the checkout process. Also don't miss JLC PCB 6 layer PCB special, get $30 off with a coupon, and enjoy top quality 6 layer PCBs, plus 2 UENIG finish, and no engineering fees for wire in pads. Now back to the project, use these 3 mm nut bolt, and secure the every MOSFET at its place. Now it's time to install brain of the circuit. Take a triple 5 IC and insert it into the IC base. Now pre-solder these pads. Take this 8mm push button and solder its two pins over here. Now our circuit is almost completed. Use this battery alligator cable, with thimbles connected to another end. And connect these over here with nut bolt. With screwdriver, tighten the nuts to secure cable at its place. Now input battery cable is connected, and we need to connect welding probes at output. For testing, I will use these cable welding probes. I will also show you later, how you can make these welding probes. With same 3mm nut bolts connect cables at output. And with screwdriver, secure them at its place. Now our circuit is totally ready for testing. I used 30 ampere car battery, to power up the spot welder. Connect the welder with battery. Now you can check safety by together touching these welding probes, there will be not any kind of spark. Only by pressing this button, the circuit will send high ampere pulse current to welding probes, which will weld down the nickel strips to any battery. Now let's test with the 18650 lithium ion battery. I used 0.12 mm nickel strip, and place it over center of the battery. Align the probes over nickel strip, while press the push button for welding. This will send high ampere 10 to 20 milliseconds pulse current to probes, to weld down the strip. As you can see it perfectly works, and perfectly welds the battery with strong joints. I also conducted second test on another battery.
And as you can see, it works awesome with perfect welding spots. So that's it for this part. In another part, I will replace these cable probes with direct welding probes so that welding can be done with easy and handheld method. Also this trigger push button will be moved over here for the easy operation. Also I will design the external casing for this welder and provide you the related files to make it even more professional and easy to use. So stay tuned for the next part as it will be more exciting to watch its final look. For more useful videos subscribe this channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.